that are stated for the Pledge of Allegiance. Welcome everyone to our today's meeting. Mayor Hall is absent, so the four of us will continue to do what he does and when all of us are together. That is to run this town meeting and welcome all of you. At this time, we will have the um, approval of the minutes. So second. There was a motion and a second. All those in favor, use the sign of aye. Aye. Any discussion? If not, ayes have it. Next, let us move to the financial report. May I have a motion? I'll second. Second. We have a motion and a second for the financial report. Once again, all those in favor, you will sign up aye. Aye. Any discussion? If not, ayes have it. Let us continue on to the town administrator's report. <clears throat> I think I have the report. Uh, it's not on the agenda, but because we're waiting on recorded the easement for um, lot 11, where we're going to put well number four in a water tower. 1.522 acres out there at Southfield. Perry Seaman has uh, submitted the uh, deed because it's been signed by Ray Jackson uh, to the courthouse for the clerk uh, for report agent, but I haven't got it yet. As soon as I get it back, um, we'll amend. Uh, we have to do two things. We're going to get an easement from sideline properties because we need some portion of their property for construction of both well and the tower. And also, we'll need to uh, initiate uh, the um, well number four construction project, put it out to bid, because then we'll have property to be owned. So that'll um, that'll initiate that. The other thing is uh, 205 uh, Booth Street. Um, we're waiting on, uh, I think, um, Mr. Emerson Dorsey represents the Elton Colored School Museum and Cultural Center. And he has I asked for uh, some type of agreement where the town would waive all uh, recreation and associated fees. And once we have that, um, because the town's exempt, but they're a nonprofit, they aren't exempt. So <clears throat> we're waiting for that agreement. And then I'll bring it before the board, or perhaps I'll initiate it myself so we can get the 205 Bruce Street. Uh, Conveyed to the uh, Alpha College School Museum and Cultural Center. Well, that's a long, long, yeah. you know, yeah. long process here. Fees, recordation fees for the county? No, yeah, the county does not recognize uh, right. a nonprofit is exempt from recordation. Well, how not, can we intervene in that? Well, we're going to accept all the recordation fees. And if that's acceptable to the county, it'll be waived because we're exempt. So, in other words, you got two parties here. We're exempt, but they're not exempt. Right. We agree to pay all their charges, and if the county agrees to the fact that we're going to accept those that recordation fees, and basically, uh, theoretically, anyway, mm -hmm. we'll be exempt, and there won't be any fees then. So we'll we'll see so how. So we would do the, this. We would be set the precedent then for. I'm sorry. We would be setting the precedent for nonprofits. Should we ever? We're only when we're gifting this property. Okay. We're giving it away. We're not selling it. Well, we're selling it for a dollar. So that way, <clears throat> it's costing a lot more than a dollar because we've already paid probably about eight or nine thousand dollars in environmental right. evaluations. Okay. Uh, okay. Lois, would we also be gifting the recordation fees? Would we be paying them or just waiting? No, we're gifting the property, but the county uh, evidently does not uh, waive uh, recordation or any of their fee, whether it's not the fees of all the time, probably chime in here for nonprofits. But we are as a government exempt. So you're saying at time of settlement, if we assume that we're going to pay the fees, then that in that way they become exempt. Um, that's because the theory. I don't the know if that would work. I have never ever uh, been involved in something like this, but Mr. Emerson Dorsey uh, has. There's another uh, lawyer involved in the settlement process, 
And uh, all this is going back and forth with Perry Seaman. So I haven't got a, yeah. an agreement to date on it, but uh, that's, that's the holdup on uh, the two of five boost. That's the holdup? Yeah, I mean, without that. Uh, I mean, I, I can't imagine. Do you, do you know how much those fees are? No. They're, they're probably minimal. Yeah. Under a couple hundred dollars or less than a thousand. Yes, less than a thousand. Right. That's not big money. Right? No. It's based on the assessment, according to uh, Emerson Dorsey. Which can't it. be all that much. I, I think Gene and Sam, what all of us are asking is that, you know, we have not paid a recordation piece before. And I guess she's saying it's going to be president, but basically, um, we have to decide what we're going to do. I guess that can be done. But on the other hand, I still think everybody here wants to know the exact fees that you know that are necessary to take care of this process. The only reason I don't know is because the agreement that Emerson Dorsey or the and the other um, attorney has asked Perry Seaman about has not been drafted. So I don't know what fees are associated with that agreement. Until I get it, once I get it, I can distribute it to the board. But I don't have. Are that. there any other fees they're asking for? Are they asking for no, uh, settlement costs? Fees. Or that's, the only, that's the only cost right there. The only cost that I can think of regarding the settlement <clears throat> are legal fees that you're paying for all this stuff to be drafted and done, <clears throat> which is typical. It's not unusual from any other properties that we've dealt with with the town, and we're going to have the same thing. The um, high street, East High Street property is going to be next. Same thing. Yeah, but we're we're taking that. So so basically, we have to know if the county will allow us to do this, right? My understanding is it's just being done by agreement. <clears throat> okay. It's like if if the this nonprofit records it, they've got to pay. Right. If but the say, seller. If we say we'll do it. Uh -huh. Then the county will say, well, never mind, and you don't have to pay it. Okay. So nothing gets paid. So that's simple. That's yeah. That's my understanding okay. of where we are. Yeah, you're right. I think it's everybody. So they want to include that in the contract with sale, the documents, right? That that's we're paying for. Anyway, as soon as uh, Perry gets back to me, um, I will, of course, inform the board. So you don't want an answer right now? I'm sorry. You don't want us to tell you what direction to go in yet? Like to go ahead and accept it or? Well, when, when the, I don't even have the agreement in hand. Oh, okay. So I can't tell the board whether it's good or bad or otherwise. But when I do get it, I'll, I'll be able to share it with you and say what we're going to do. Okay. Yes. And that's uh, the two, the two properties. Uh, Obviously, we don't have that issue with the Quad um, 11 at Southfields because they've already assigned the deed over to us and what is the matter of waiting for it to be reported. There's any fees associated with that, we're not paying a day for that. That's all I have right now. Okay, with you being done in the mayor absence, and the next to follow is a report from us. I have nothing, so I'm gonna start down there with Rob Massimiano because Gene is gonna hold us up a little bit. So we go down there. Would this be the point where I want to bring up the uh, additions to the new book? Yeah, I'm Jane is on. online. Um, let me ask her to unmute herself. Okay, uh, she Hi, should be able to hear can you. Can you hear me? You, you want to give her to. Janie, can you hear me? With us? <clears throat> she's unmuted, but she's oh, she just muted herself. Hold on. And um, just I I see her. Well, Mary, Sean. Mary, can you get Janie? Yeah. yeah. She she's unmuted. She's talking. I can hear. Her. I'm not doing something to that. Hold on. Hold on. Let's try that again. It's I believe that was my fault. Mary, can you um, give me a test? Can you hear me? There she is. We're trying to get a hold of Cheney. Can you hear me? There she is. I'm here. 
I'm sorry, Cheney, that was my error. Hi, Cheney. Oh. Commissioner Massimiano here. I just had two things that I would like to include in the uh, new booklet for Elkton. Uh, the Spring and Summer Resident Guide. The, I would like to include the annual fishing rodeo that would be uh, the last Saturday in each May. And also the um, annual comedy roast that we now do every year, which is the last Saturday in February. Okay. I will have to check on that date and I can get that date to you about the fishing rodeo. Okay, no problem. <clears throat> See the, the last Saturday in May for the fishing? Um. You know, I had to check with the Elton Alliance and see what the schedule is around the county and the town to make sure that we're not um, uh, interfering or competing with something very important. It's going to be the third or fourth Saturday uh, in May, and definitely the last Saturday in February for the comedy roast. You want her to announce who you're roasting this year? That would be Roger Owens. Okay, Roger Owens. Are you, if it, you know, the last Saturday in May is usually a holiday or a holiday weekend? Yeah, I'm thinking it's probably going to be the third Saturday then. But I will get with you um, probably later today and confirm that date with you. Okay, that works. And then is the, for the, do you have information for the, uh, the roast? Yes. Um, last Saturday in February. Starting at five o'clock with dinner, the comedy roast starting at six. Is there a fee? There is. Um, now, this is an Elkton Alliance sponsored event, and I'm not sure what they're charging. We'll I just reach out. We can reach out to them. That's fine. Yeah, I can touch base with Jessica and see what she's doing too. <clears throat> is it going to be held here? It is going to be held at the Elkton BFW this year. I just found that out yesterday. Is this open to the public? Because we're putting out a resident guide picking about the thousands of people. So I'm not sure how many people would show up. At. Well, you'd have to pre register, and there are a limited amount of tickets available, but it is open to the public. So you have no idea what the seating capacity is there right now. I know you don't have a number, but um, I'm not sure what the seating capacity is in the BFW. Okay. 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 Mara, you all are good? Yep, thank you. Yep. Am I clear about the, the Rudio? When's that? Is that the last third Saturday? Well, as Commissioner Brumel pointed out, that's a holiday weekend. Last Saturday, so more than likely, I'm going to be doing it on the third Saturday. Of May. Saturday of May. Don't have that date in front of me here. Here's a calendar. There's a calendar. Twenty uh, first is a Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, the twenty first would be twenty first is a Saturday before the holiday. Mm -hmm. That sounds right. I, I think it was right around then last year. I think yeah, it was the twentieth last year. Twenty second last year. Twenty second. Do you do a, a, a rain date for the next day or? Hmm, that is a very good point. I would say because the following weekend would be a holiday, let's go two weeks later for a rain date. So it would be the next day. Okay. It would be. So that would be in June. That would be the first weekend in June. The May 21st is actually National Kids to Parks Day. So that. Works out really well. Oh, wow. Perfect. And in the meantime, um, the Arts Council contacted me. They have an Eagle Scout that needs a project to do and it must to benefit the community. And he's got carpenters at his disposal and also funding. So I have talked this young man into building park benches around the pond which will be permanently fixed. We have to work out the details on how they will be permanently fixed. And also we're going to build small, uh, like garden style bridges across a couple of areas that uh, tend to flood and overflow from the pond into, into the woods. 
so that people um, had the un unobstructed uh, walking around the pond. It'd be a great improvement to the pond. Mm -hmm. And with that, I, I do believe I'm done. Good stuff. Well, while we're on the um, Kim, the uh, booklet, I like to make sure we include the Christmas decorating contest. And um, Michelle, can you like give them an idea of you know how we pay? We pay what four places? You know, yeah. Um, the deadline that you'll determine that we'll need to set. Can you for set entries? Can you? Do your uh, well, we'll we'll have a meeting scheduled, I guess, for the seventh and the twenty-first. But so it's the twenty-first of uh, December. December the twenty-first. You can make your announcement. Then um, I'm going to talk and write at the same time. So twelve twenty-one. As we'll long as we have that meeting, yeah, you know how we tend to. So that's so Wednesday. So let's back up twenty-first. So then Tuesday. 20 Monday 19 is so the yeah. you know, so then Friday's the 16th. So the deadline would be the Friday the 16th. Okay. And then the board can then do your judging that weekend mm -hmm. and announce at that uh, meeting on the 21st. So there's you want to yeah, do we want to go that late? It's fine with me. It's fine with me. Cheney, did you hear that? I can send it to you as well. No, you kind of make yeah, I, I heard it, but you can also send it to me. It'll kind of give me another reminder. Oh, really? Thanks. But even with that date, I know I brought up a suggestion, which I'd rather do in a, in, in, in a meeting, but Michelle, you can address that as well. Yeah. It's the same um, occasion will go on, but there's some other hiccups that we have to take care of. But it's, it's the same as always. Okay. And do you really need my question would be, would you want to make those definitions of the different categories to everyone anyway, or would the board, we do our vote sheet and then the board does decide during your voting collectively, this is the most imaginative, this is the most traditional, this is the- Yes, this is just a category change. Yeah. Cool. That is the same thing. And I think, uh, Michelle, you suggested that maybe if it was possible, that we could get the van together and go around together. I don't know how true that would be. But I think that was neat what you did for you. Yeah. <clears throat> I think there's going to be a lot more interest. Dolly, um, you went from, I can't remember what it was. From like five. five to 12. Right. So I think we have five. I think it's going to grow. Five to 12. So, <clears throat> okay. All right, then. Thank you. Yeah. I'm smiling because the last time with Mary Jo was that we went out collectively together and Dan had some type of uh, a rigged up, yep. uh, whatever it was, we were riding, but it got cold. Yes. So we had to stop and get off of that rig and get inside the vehicle. Yes. But it was fun. Yes. Earl, can you use that too? Yeah. So, okay. so Earl does not have anything to offer today. So, Jean, where are you? Brace yourself. <laughs> I have nothing. I'm good. I'm oh, ready for that. Oh, Cheney. <laughs> Katie, what is the deadline um, if, in case anything else pops up? So I'm ideally, I would like to have everything by next Friday. That way I can kind of start putting it together. Um, so anytime between now and next Friday, but if something pops up after next Friday, you can always check with me and I'll try to get it in there. All right, thank you so much. Yep. Thank you. Is there anyone that's looking at us from afar uh, have anything to say? I see Dan, I see uh, um, Jamel or Steve Rowe, Paul, Jeannie Miller, anyone, even our new human resource person. And no questions? Uh, yes, this is Andy Rodriguez. I, um, Lewis reached out to me. He wanted to include a diversity and inclusion statement in the resident guide. So we're working together on that. That's good. Thank you. Okay, and as we close out, because I don't think anybody else would uh, be willing to offer any questions, I'd like to uh, say to Commissioner Alpiner uh, and offer our condolences on behalf of the town. Uh, there's a memorial service for his sister on this, 
coming this early. It's going to be at the uh, Abundant Life Church over on Blue Street. So uh, again, we uh, we we we're with you all and I uh, hope things go well. At this time, the meeting is closed at 1220. Make it a good day. <laughs>